We're filming. <laughs> no, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I am shocked. No, not at the social distancing that's taking place on the Indian trains. Well, maybe that as well. Last year in Ramadan, we had the call to prayer being proclaimed on the loudspeakers in the likes of America, in Europe, you name it. And this Ramadan, right at the beginning, we have our very own Umar Isa. How's things? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay then. That's right, the vocal only Nasheed artist who's only gone and topped at number four on the iTunes official chart. Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this. This is not like your local mosque committee's latest hits. We don't have the money, we don't have the resources. Or Auntie Bushra's dinner time bangers. Or even the backing of Smarter Jenner's latest video. And let's, let's, let's be honest right there, yeah? That is an honor in itself. I thought you were gonna pay me. Don't worry, we'd receive you as you did. But we gotta give credit where credit is due, and this is mainstream. There are many advantages when the Nasheeds or praise of Allah reaches the mainstream in the way it has been designed to do so, without haram and inappropriate things. Clear unadulterated message. Yeah, so guys, there's so many advantages, yeah? I mean just the creative aspect of it. People listening to the to the track again and again and we forget that. I mean just looking at the album cover, that in itself is enough. It doesn't seem to be pulling back any punches with this one. And that leads me on to my second point. It shows our young ones. Young ones, untrained ones, little ones. That you don't have to resort to haram and indecency to do well. Also guys, he's putting the system on its head. Because if you look at the artists that are on the chart, they've got billboard backing, radio backing, they've got a budget. When my guy over here is struggling to get a six inch subway. But he has Allah and the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam backing him. Allahu Akbar, I can't, I'm like, <laughs> Allahu Akbar, I'm so over the moon. Emotions, I'm like, all kind of emotions are in me. He's peaked at number four, but we gotta take him to number one. The link is in the description. I want you guys to purchase the album right now. Please, please fam, keep sharing. If you bought it, then share it. We love complaining when these uh, little Nas X come with their music where they're, he's giving Shaitan a lap dance for God's sake. They're releasing trainers with human blood in it. And we're, cl we're complaining. Oh, what's happening? Oh, no. And here you have somebody that is presenting the unadulterated message of Allah and His Prophet to where it needs to go and he just needs us to back him a little bit. Come on guys, let's do this. Come on. Let's get behind him and let's do it. If for whatever miraculous reason you can't purchase the album, then stream it. But purchasing the album is where the stats lie. Or at the very least, guys, if you can't purchase or do any of that stuff, you're a fasting Muslim. Uh, please make a dua for him because, guys, this is this is incredibly important. Let me just give you some stats, yeah. Uh, no, uh, and you can chime in whichever country you're in. He's number one in Kenya, number two in UAE, 126 in Saudi, uh, number eight in Indonesia, top ten in Oman, number thirteen in South Africa. I mean, what's going on with our countries, mate? It's rid ridiculous. Let's let's push this, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting it on my socials, so share it, inshallah. And really, guys, let's push him. By Friday, guys, he has to remain at least, the very least, on the top ten spot. Yeah, with our backing, inshallah, number one, mate. Yeah, first place. Never settle for less. What's the point in trying if you ain't trying your best? He's absolutely right, sir. Until next time. <laughs> Taylor Swift is number one. Taylor, we are coming for you. The Muslims are coming, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.